Welcome to raigurukul.com. In this video, we will discuss about numpy array attributes. So, whenever we are talking with numpy array or attributes, that's a very important part when we are working with numpy programming logic. So, if you don't know about the basics of numpy in Python, please watch my previous session. I have already created two sessions on numpy, their introductions and getting started with numpy i will also include a url in description tab so that you are able to understand the python numpy and if you are not yet subscribed to this channel consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates let's begin with numpy array attributes numpy array is the most used construct of numpy in machine learning and deep learning so we'll discuss here how to create a numpy array. We'll perform here numpy and dimension, shape, size, item size. So let's see how we'll do that practically without wasting any time. So for creating any numpy object and calling their library, we have to import numpy library. For importing numpy library, we have to write import numpy and alias name because every time we cannot use numpy the whole keyword. So better to use this as np. Now, how to declare a variable or the array name? So let's see if I want to declare array name, I am giving here as a name ar equal to np dot array and if i want to provide the two sets of array value then inside the square brackets i will add other square bracket and the value two four and six next set i want to create it for three six and nine now our array is created let's print this and the size of array or the shape of the array so if i want to print the shape of array print ar dot shape so it will show us how the shape looks like that so let's run this and see the result So, for printing, better we can include here a round bracket and see the result. Now, we can see here the output is printed 2, 3 and in the, this print, we can see here we have created two set and the value of each set is 3, 3. So, that's the reason it is printed 2, 3. So, let's recollect the value of the array in size or resize the array so for resizing any array we have to add ar dot shape equal to 3 comma Five, sorry, three comma two, and let's let's run this with the array name. Now, whenever we are running, we'll definitely get resizing of array. It is divided into two set of each, so you can see reshaped. Let's understand third example where numpy also provides a reshape function to resize an array. So how we'll resize it? We will see here. So you can see here ar dot shape we have already provided. Now let's jump to second array value that is a b equal to a dot sorry ar dot the reshaping mechanism 
which we have to provide it reship and for reshaping we are giving the value of 3 comma 2 now you can see here if you want to reship it we have to define the code of reshape and pool that will add the value which we want to print it let's run this command and see the result now you can see here the next command is printed with the perfect value which we are looking for we can also update this value according to our need but let's run with this array attribute returns number of array dimensions let's see how we'll print it array dimension so for arranging an array dimension we have to import the same value let me remove this i've already declared some of the array and for representing the value if let's understand the logic of array attributes returns the number of array dimensions how will arrange it an array for evenly spaced we can manage it or an array with non even space is also manage it so let's change this value to arrange till 20th Arrange and the dimension we are providing here as 20th. Let's print this AR with the correct value. Oh, we are made here a mistake of typo error. Now you can see the value which you have provided, same thing is printed here. So this is a single line. We can also print it with the multiple value. So if we have a r dot dot and then and the value which we are printing will change it. Now let's create b r and insert the b r. We are going to declare a value a r dot reshape. So reshaping will be done in terms of two comma four comma three. And let's print this value into result. So this is a b r. Now you can see. If we will provide the correct value, we'll get the desired result as well. If I want to item size or provide the item size of any array, we can also do that by doing or performing this type of logic. So you have already seen we have provided or we have done multiple operation on any particular array. And in that array, we can perform different other operation as well. So this is how it works whenever we are working with an array and with their attributes. So this is all about NumPy array attributes. Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed the session, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Even you can share within your circle for others can get benefited with this. Thank you for watching.